Every year, American colleges seem to teach less but charge more. The price of a college degree has been going up faster than inflation for many years. But as the recent Varsity Blues scandal shows, some people are willing to spend still more, thousands, even millions more, to ensure their child gets a seat at a particular university. Why is this? Mike Rowe has spent years calling out colleges for wasting the time and money of students and their parents. He's got a brand new book coming out called The Way I Heard It, which you can pre-order and you should because it's amazing. But in the meantime, he joins us in the flesh. Mike Rowe joins us tonight. Mike Rowe, thanks very much for coming on. So what I, I've been wanting for the past two weeks to get your view of this of this college scandal because it intersects with so many things you've been talking about for so long. What's your view of it? Well, the first and obvious thing to say is I'm outraged. Everybody's outraged. But yeah, you step back and you look at it. You know, I, I think it's fair to say what is most outrageous? Like, what are we really angry about? Cheaters are bad. Cheaters are bad because when people cheat, people who don't cheat get taken advantage of. And that's just fundamentally not fair. We all get that. But rich cheaters seem to really upset us, <laughs> especially. And I think yes. part of part of what's crystallized uh, the outrage around the story is the fact that the people who most egregiously cheated had an awful lot of money. And for my money, you know, as I stepped back to look at it, I was like, well, yeah, that is kind of disgusting. But where is the outrage for the cost of college in general? I mean, you don't have to be rich exactly. or famous to believe that your kid is doomed to fail if they don't get a four-year degree. There are millions of parents in the country right now, millions, who, who genuinely feel that if they don't do everything they can to get their kid into a good school, they will, they will fail the kid. So where's the outrage for the pressure that we put on a 17-year-old to borrow $100,000? You know, so much of that pressure comes from their their mom and dad. It's well intended, but it's kind of tragic. And where's the outrage for the guidance counselors who continually say the best path for the most people just happens to be the most expensive? And the politicians and the lobbyists who exacerbate the same myth and the employers who still insist on only interviewing people with a four year degree. We we set the table in a pretty self-evident way. And when we scratch our heads, you're exactly right. It's the cost of tuition has increased faster than inflation, but also faster than health care, faster than real estate, faster than food, faster than energy. Never before in the history of Western civilization has anything so potentially important become so egregiously expensive. So, yeah, college is expensive because we freed up an unlimited pile of free money and told an entire generation they were doomed to fail if they didn't borrow it. And that's happened in every single tax bracket, not just the top one. No, that's exactly right. So we really shouldn't be surprised, as you just said, when people who can try and game the system that's been described to them since day one as the most important, as, 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 as the gates to success in America, why even now, are so, when so many people know the system is a scam, are so few people saying so? I think because we're stuck in this perpetual binary box. It's this or that, right? It's blue collar or white collar, good job or bad job, higher education or alternative education. And when you only have two choices, or when you think you only have two choices, then you you do one thing at the expense of the other. So for instance, I know we've talked right. about this before, but it, it just seems so so clear now. When when four year degreed universities needed a PR campaign forty years ago, they got one. But the PR came at the expense of all other forms of education. So it wasn't just, hey, Tucker, go get your liberal arts degree because it will give you a broad based appreciation for the humanities. It was if you don't go get that degree, you're going to wind up over here turning a wrench or running a welding torch or doing some kind of uh, vocational consolation prize. We we promoted the one thing at the expense of all of the others. And that one thing just happened to be the most expensive thing. And so, look, I don't think the skills gap is a mystery. I think it's a reflection of what we value. Seven million jobs are available now. Most of them don't require a four-year degree. They, they require training. And yet we're obsessed 
not really with education. You know, what we're obsessed with is credentialing. And so people exactly. are buying diplomas and they're, and they're buying their degrees. It's, it's a diploma dilemma, honestly, and it's expensive and it's getting worse. And it's not just the kids who are holding the note. You know, it's us. We're, we're underwriting. You're, you're, you're totally right. And Felicity Huffman, who believed all the nonsense that, you know, she's been told for 40 years. Um, we it, shall listen to you on this because you are oh, right. Look, Mike it's, Rowe, it's, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.